Unfortunately, in the United States, what we're seeing is increasing rates of depression, anxiety, uh, suicide rates are going up, um, so we're, we're in a challenging time and we feel that these adverse childhood experiences really are at the root of some of these difficult issues that we're seeing in our country. We have had childhood trauma for a long time now, but we're increasingly recognizing the impact it can have on young people in terms of their ability to thrive both at home and in their community and also at school. The people who are most impacted by childhood trauma and adverse childhood experiences are often those who are living in communities where they're experiencing multiple stressors, in highly stressed urban communities, for example, or those young people who may be marginalized. When we're looking to address negative impacts of trauma, what we're really trying to do is focus on building resilience in young people. And also, we are focusing on developing relationships. Uh, child trauma is best healed through relationships. And so we're trying to ensure that every child has the kind of relationships with, with their parents, with their caregivers, with other adults in their world that can actually help to build the resilience necessary to, you know, to give them more functioning later in life. The good news is we know what to do. We know what works. We know the evidence-based practices. This is more complicated than simply sending uh, teachers to a training and thinking that, um, uh, that we're going to solve all of our challenges here. This is really a systems issue here of making sure that no one's on an island, that if a child experiences something traumatic, there's support. Uh, if a family has a child who's experienced something traumatic, there's support for the family. If a teacher or part of the workforce is working with a family who's exposed to something traumatic, they have support. Because you can't talk about the mental health of students without addressing the mental health and wellness of the adults that care for them in their environments. Which is why at Healthier Generation, in partnership with Kaiser Permanente, we have the RISE initiative that really focuses on building subjective well-being, increasing job satisfaction for the adults, so that they can feel like they're making a positive difference in the youth that they serve. There's a sense of urgency right now in terms of how we can best support our young people who've been exposed to adversity or trauma. And we have many people at the table who care about this issue and are willing to look at policies and practices that can support our young people. So now is the time to be doing this. Events like the Institute for Health Policy Forum today do a couple of things. One is they help Kaiser Permanente and others raise awareness about adverse childhood experiences and their profound impact on people with physical health and both mental health conditions later in life. The other purpose it serves is to gather people who care about this issue, to think together, to think about solutions that they might take on together, to imagine different possibilities and, and a way forward for our society.